Hey guys, Andrew McComb here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with David Milne, the two-time PGA Teacher of the Year and co-coach of the Indonesian golf team. We're at Jundalup Golf Resort in Perth, Western Australia, and David's gonna teach us how to be more accurate with our irons. But before we start, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around until the end of this episode, I'm gonna give you access to our famous Golf University skill assessment, which has helped thousands of our members, just like you, find and fix the one thing that's killing your scores, your handicap, and your game. Plus, we'll give you free access to the specific video coaching program from one of our world-class golf instructors so that you can feel more confident consistent and in control of this area of your game. But before I help you find and fix this area of your game, let's find out how to be more accurate with our irons. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. The problem a lot of golfers have in not being consistent and accurate with their irons is they're not sure actually where the ball starts in relation to the line that they've picked. So I've got a drill set up here that's going to get you to identify actually do you start the ball on line to the left or to the right. I've got a pool noodle up there and what it's going to do is on my target line and it's going to identify when I hit a golf shot uh, exactly where my ball starts. If you can learn to do that and, uh, and you'll find that your iron shots are going to be really more accurate more consistent and you'll be able to hit more greens in regulation. So if you go ahead, set it up, get your club face set up to your intended line and from there make a golf swing, you'll be able to see that that one took off a little bit to the right of my intended line and the ball would have finished probably on the right edge of the fairway or the green and, and therefore, I need to work on getting that ball starting a little bit closer online. So this is really good because it was just the club face or the path that's going to influence the start line. And you've got to decide from there, once you consistently know, do I start the ball right or left, that which one do you adjust? Is it the club face or is it the path? So that's pretty simple. But before you start working on the swing, identify your start line. And that's going to make a huge difference when you can start it on the line you pick and hitting more greens and therefore going to influence the scores you have and finding the consistency and the not losing the actual straightness that you hit your shots and the confidence that's going to go with it knowing you can start on the line that you actually pick. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful or ask a question in the comments if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we want to help you find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. So to access the Golf University Skill Assessment and free video coaching program, go to golfuniversity.tv forward slash golf skill assessment, or click the link in the description below. And to help you feel even more confident, consistent, and in control of your golf game, I also want to invite you to join the 19th Hole Clubhouse and Golf Channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th hole for free at the 19thhole.club or click the link in the description below. And as a member, you'll have access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes and documentaries. Plus you'll get member only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel tours and signature programs. And if you're a golf addict like me, you can also join our members only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson or you'd like to ask some questions or you've even got an idea or a suggestion for another lesson, leave a like and a comment below and I'll do my best with my coaches to answer them for you. And if you've got any other golfing friends who'd benefit from this lesson, hit the share buttons below as well. And remember to hit the subscribe and the bell icon too so I can notify you every time a new episode's released. Thanks for watching, sharing and commenting guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.